what's going on guys my name is citizen of nuketown and welcome back to another gameplay commentary for me here today and what you guys are watching is a 15 and 3 and 6 rounds not really a gameplay by my normal standards or really anyone's standards hopefully um but i really liked how fast paced this game was and i get a nice triple kill there followed by uh, me chasing this guy around trying to knife him uh and he gets a little bit humiliated but i hope you guys do enjoy nonetheless if you don't i really don't care it's fine you don't have to enjoy what I produce. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And if you guys notice, I've been rushing my balls off. And it's been a little bit difficult to get used to how low the health is and all that sort of stuff. So I want to give you guys a couple solid rushing classes that will help you out. And, um, yeah, let's get started. These are going to be more like templates than anything. Um, where, you know, I give you... A gun, a couple guns to use, a couple attachments to use, and a couple perks that you can swap in and out and use at your own discretion. So I'm not going to give you a cookie cutter thing. But uh, my top three submachine uh, sub guns so far are the Vector uh, CRB, the MTAR, and the K9, the one that I'm using in this video right now. Um, those ones are probably the strongest. I haven't really used too much of the other ones, but the Bison sucks ass. Uh, I don't like it at all. It's like a PM9 from MW3. Um, <clears throat> other than that, I, I haven't really experimented with the other ones, so give those a try if you want as well. But uh, attachments for those guns, I would highly recommend grip being on all of them. Um, it really helps your recoil and it's not just a placebo effect like it was in the last game. Then, moving on from there, I would recommend swapping in between three different attachments. The rapid fire, the silencer, and the muzzle brake. So... Whichever ones you think you like the best, I uh, would use those. Um, but this one, obviously, with the K9, it has a built-in silencer. I'm using rapid fire. So that, that's pretty good. Um, moving on to attachments. No, not to attachments. To perks. There we go. Um, lightweight, marathon. What is it called? The agility and marathon. Those are the names for it. Those are a definite must. I find the best way of rushing is to go balls deep right through the center. And a lot of people don't expect it because... You move generally clunky with the assault rifles and every other gun. So it will really catch them off guard when you kind of rush balls deep. But holy fuck, this is kind of bullshit right here. Oh, this asshole. Fuck you. Uh, so use that. Uh, next couple perks that I'd recommend on any class is dead silence and focus. Focus really, really helps you stay on target when you're in gunfights. Helps you win those. Uh, it's pretty much the same as Toughness from Black Ops 2. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, Dead Silence. It's really strong in this game. And people can really sound whore you when you're not using it. So you got to be really careful and use it as much as you can. And then um, Ready Up. I generally put on every class if I have an extra spot open. Because it really helps you um, get on target more if you're rushing. And uh, you know win more gunfights. But then you should have two more spots for a bunch of different things. And that's pretty much up to you. Generally, I swap between ping, which uh, when you kill people, it shows where everyone else is on the radar. Um, amplify, so you can sound whore people. And um, what's the other one? Uh, a lethal and a tactical for two tactical grenades. But that's it. I hope you guys did enjoy the ga gameplay. And I'm signing out. Peace, guys.